Hi there. So under risk management policy folder, uh, you'll find draw.io, uh, some diagrams there. So we have communication diagram and uh, risk management threat modeling diagram there. So I'll show you here. So we have this risk assessment, risk mitigation, this diagram. So you can copy this uh, and edit as per your company requirements there. Uh, this is for pro communication process flow. Uh, this also you can edit as per your company requirements. So you can download these two files uh, and install draw.io or go to the website and edit these diagrams. Now for risk register, uh, this uh, you can find it under risk management policy. We have risk register Excel sheet. So this is the first page. Uh, on legend tabs, you'll find uh, risk criteria metrics. So we have categorized as a significant risk, moderate risk, if it is a low risk. So if it is critical risk and it's almost certain, then it's a high risk and we need to mitigate that risk as soon as possible. Uh, so these are some other details. For risk register, uh, so all these values are coming from some of the other tabs, so don't delete any tabs from here or any sheets from here. So we have here a risk. So here we have all the details of the risk. Uh, then we have vulnerabilities. And here we have controls. So once we identify the risk, what controls or security controls we can apply here. So let's go back to risk register. If you want to add a new risk, what you can do is you can insert any new tab, a new, uh, new row, copy it, and yes, paste it here. Uh, you can add, uh, add the date and a number. Add some kind of risk details here. Let me try to maximize this. Okay. You can add the description of the risk. So here we have uh, R1, R2, R3, R4. It's a force. That bit human failure, technical failure. These are some types. Now, from this risk, it's coming from this tab, which is risk tab. So uh, you can select the risk from uh, whatever the types of risk is. So you can scroll it down, you'll find all the types of list. And if you want to add any risk, you can come here and add that risk. It will come here, okay? You need to update and it will come here. So I'm, I'm choosing the type of risk. Now we have vulnerability. So this vulnerability is coming from this tab. You can add it and it will come here. So if you want to select any other, just scroll down and see what are all the vulnerabilities. So let's select some kind of other vulnerability here. Now, what is the risk category? Okay, so we can set if it's a hardware risk, software risk. So let's say software risk. Who is taking care of the risk? So it's IT team. So what's the confident, uh, confidentiality impact? So we have here CIA, confidentiality, integrity, availability. Uh, so these three factors, we have uh, a rating on one to five. One is uh, insignificant, uh, second is minor, moderate, major, and critical. So if you select here five, it means it's a confidentiality is critically impacted. If you select here five, it means in, uh, integrity is critically impacted. Uh, similarly for availability. And the risk impact, it is out of five. You can give any rating from four to five. I'll give us four. So see, this will come as uh, significant. So if you give me a two, so this will become low. So this depends on the risk impact. The inherent risk depends on these values. So let me go to five. What's the risk likelihood? So it's from, it's rare or unlikely possible or almost certain. If you go with almost certain, then it's a high risk. Okay. And then we need to um, mitigate as soon as possible. And what are the controls you ap apply for this? So these controls or security controls are coming from this tab. All the controls, okay? Now, if you click on this, you can select the controls you're applying and uh, give any kind of description there and control effectiveness. So once you apply the control, what is the effectiveness of control? So out of 
0 to 4, you just select the effectiveness is 4, means it's uh, control effectiveness, and let's go with residual risk. So if you select here uh, 0, which means uh, the residual risk is high, you can see here, if you select it as 1, then it will automatically update the values. So significant. Residual is significant. It's calculating depending on these columns. Now let's try to change some values here to 2. So it's also uh, uh, impacting here. Okay. So like this, you can track all the risk. And this is the risk treatment. What you're doing and how you're deploying it. And this uh, is all about the risk register. You can use it. You may also use some kind of central tracker tools to uh, uh, for this uh, risk flow and getting all these things. But if you don't have any tool, uh, this uh, is Excel template you can play with. So that's it on uh, risk register. Thank you.